Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up D2X, the iOS installer on the Wii. Now this guide is going to be for anyone that cannot connect their Wii to the internet, but it'll also work if you can. There will just be one step you can skip if you have an internet connection. This is going to be for the Wii, as the Wii U settings for this app are slightly different, so I will have a separate video for that in the future. So let's go ahead and get all of this set up. So there's two links below and the first one will take you to the CIOS Wii guide here. This is the official guide. The settings were actually changed this past week so that's the reason why I'm making this updated tutorial. But if you want you can just follow this but I'm going to be walking you through it so you can follow me as well. Once you're here just go ahead and click D2X CIOS installer and it should download the app in the bottom left as a zip file. And then once you have that downloaded open up the USB drive or SD card that you use to mod your Wii. And then once you have it open, open up the zip file we just downloaded with D2X CIOS installer. You're going to notice that it has an apps folder. So just grab this apps folder and drag it onto the root of your SD card. Now I already have an apps folder so it will merge with it. But if you don't, it will create the apps folder. But if we go in here, you can see D2X CIOS installer. If you open it up, you should it should look like this. So back into the apps folder, I have preloader and USB loader GX. And at this point, once you have the app in your apps folder, if you have an internet connection for your Wii, you can eject your SD card and head over to the Wii and skip to this time frame. But if you do not have an internet connection, we have one more step to do on the PC. So those of you that cannot connect your Wii to the internet, head back to the CIOS guide and scroll down. Click on without an internet connection to the Wii and you'll notice that the first step is to run NUS Downloader. Now normally you have to do this all on your PC and get WADs but I've already gone through and done this. So if you go to the second link in the description it'll take you here where it says updated CIOS WADs Wii and if you open it up you can see there are four options here iOS 38, 56, 57 and 58. If we go back to the official guide we need iOS 38. 56, 57, and 58. So all you have to do is go to the top right and click download. It'll download a zip file in the bottom left. And then open up your SD card again. Open up the updated CIOS WADs. Go into the folder. And we're going to highlight each of these WAD files. So highlight all four of them and just drag them onto the root of your SD card. Make sure you don't put them in your apps folder. Now I think they can be anywhere on your SD card, but I'm not sure if that'll cause issues. So it's best to have these WADs on the root of your SD card. But once you have those WADs on your SD card, we are ready to head over onto the Wii and install the custom iOS's. I will meet you over there. So over on the Wii, let's go into the homebrew channel, start it up. And then once your apps load, we're gonna go into D2X CIOS installer, but first, did you know you can actually pop these homebrew bubbles? I modded my Wii for like a year and a half before I learned that accidentally. <laughs> Fun fact. But click on CIOS installer and load it up. What this app does is take existing iOS's that are on the Wii and kind of customizes them. Once you're on this page, just click A to continue and there's going to be four different settings options. So I'm going to post a picture on the screen for which settings to have. But for the first one, use right on the D-pad and go all the way D2X V11 Beta 1. So that's new for anyone who have previously modded a Wii before. Go down to Base, change it to 38. Go down to Slot, change it to 248. And then the revision go all the way to 65535. As you can see under notes, it says offline mode. You need iOS 38, blah, 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 WAD. Uh, we have that. That is the WADs that we downloaded and put on our SD card. So we are good to go. So you don't need an internet connection. And my Wii is not connected to the internet right now. So you can see that it works. But again, if you have internet connection, you can just do all of this without getting those WADs. But anyways, once you have all of those settings, just click A. Just press A again, and you should see this page, and it's just installing the custom iOS. Just let us do its thing, and I'll meet you when it's done. And once it's done, it should be green for success. Just press A again to continue. Now we're going to change the settings for the next iOS. We're going to leave the top one the same at beta 1. We're going to change the base all the way to 56. We're going to change the slot to 249, and the revision stays the same at 65535. So when you have those settings, just click A, click A again, 
and it should begin installing the second custom iOS. And that one's completed, success, press A to continue, we are halfway done, there's two more. For the next one, again, leave the top the same at beta 1, change the base to 57, change the slot to 250, and press A, press A again, and we'll install the third iOS. And that one was also a success, press A to continue again, and we're going to change the base to 58, and the slot to 251. Once you have those settings, press A and press A again, and we will install the last iOS. And there we go, the last one was a success. So press A to continue, and then just press B to exit. Should take us back to the homebrew channel. And we are now able to play games through USB Loader GX or WeFlow. We're all set up, as long as you have the games installed already. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for the video. Again, this is an updated tutorial, so if you're coming from a previous video where the settings were wrong, I apologize and hopefully this can clear it up for you. If you're interested in more Wii and Wii U or 3DS modding tutorials, I have three different playlists and you can check them out to learn more. If you want to show your support, there's a link down below to buy me a coffee, but of course, all that I ask is that you hit the like button as that is free. And if you ran into any issues, you can comment below or join my Discord channel and get some help there. But anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.